What's up ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're going to talk about 400 artifacts, how we're going to go about getting our 400 artifact for the hard rate, which is coming out in just a couple days. Now I just want to say right now, right off the bat, there's not a one step, one stop, easy fix that we're going to just glitch and get a 400 artifact. I just want to let people know that because I think sometimes people come to videos and they think, oh man, we're going to just instantly easily be able to cheese and get a 400 artifact. That is not going to be the case. You're still going to have to get your light level up at least relatively close in order to get it. So roughly around those mid 390s in order to get it. But this is going to help you get there absolutely going to help you get there because we all saw whenever we were getting ready for the raid initially getting an artifact was difficult so what a lot of people did was they went over here to the court of oryx yes this is where we were getting our artifacts back whenever the taken king was out it only is though going to drop you 335 artifacts from the actual battle that's not what we're here for we're here to rank up eris morn so by ranking up eris morn we can then go ahead over to her and we had a 75% chance to get an artifact. Now unfortunately whenever I ranked up Eris Morn for the first raid for the normal raid in Wrath of the Machine, I only got the class item, so I had the 25% chance of getting a class item. But Bungie's changing things around. They're saying that now artifacts are going to drop with a more increased chance, even from Eris. So I'm crossing my fingers here that this is going to be worthwhile for me. But what I'm doing is something very, very specific. So not only am I edging Eris, I've already ranked up Eris. I already have Eris ranked up and I didn't pick up her package. So right now my Eris is sitting with a rank up and what I'm doing in this gameplay right here is I'm actually going about edging Eris. So we're going to see that in just a little bit. And this is going to be key. This is absolutely going to be key for getting your artifacts up because you're going to have not one but two chances right away at getting an artifact and hopefully RNG works out for me and hopefully RNG works out for you. So whenever Rise of Iron came over, I had some packages that I just didn't pick up from the Taken King. And sure enough, whenever I went ahead into the Rise of Iron, I picked them up and they were dropping at higher light levels. The same exact principle works here. So I have Eris ranked up. She's sitting there with a package in the tower. And as long as I don't rank up another level, that package is always going to be there. So my goal is to get my faction, my Eris faction rep, as close to leveling up again as I possibly can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to go in, I'm going to be able to pick up Eris's package, hopefully get an artifact after I've leveled a little bit, get a higher light level artifact, go back and start decrypting some exotics and some other faction reputation, rank up higher until I need to get an artifact again, come back into the Court of Orcs, I'll only need to go ahead and do two reciprocal runes, and boom, I'm going to be able to go back to Eris and hopefully get yet another artifact that will then be higher and let me rank up even further. This is going to be key because you know from ranking up already, you know that pretty much you have to get all of your gear up in order to get to the next stage. And that's what we want to do. We want to be able to rank up, then we want to be able to pull an artifact. Then we want to be able to rank up a little bit higher and then pull an even higher artifact. And you can see I've already got an Eris package ready to go. Hopefully I don't get the class item. Hopefully I get one of the other artifacts. And hopefully the changes that Bungie made will let those artifacts drop for me. So I can go ahead and come and pick this up. And then I can go ahead and do my two reciprocal runes and get Eris ranked up all the way to 3000. And it'll be so easy. Also, just one other thing to show you. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you could actually buy heavy ammo from Eris for black wax idols. That's pretty cheap. That is pretty cheap. So Eris is going to be my number one thing that I'm looking out for whenever the Tuesday comes and we get our new increased light abilities. But also with Bungie's update, they're saying that we can get ghosts and artifacts from the Archon's Forge and the ghosts and artifacts will drop up to 400 light. That is really nice. That's really nice. Now here's my one little caveat. So anybody that's run into the Archon's Forge has probably got a ton a ton of legendary class items. The legendary class items again will drop up to highlight levels, but all of the gear, all of the weapons, those things only cap out at 365 and they are extremely rare. Now, if the ghosts and artifacts from the Archon's Forge are treated like the class items where we get them pretty often, that's going to be a nice thing. If they have the drop rates though of the armor and the weapons, that's going to be really difficult. That's going to be really difficult and really tricky but it might be worth doing.
for me, because I'm going to have such a time crunch, because I'm going to have to work, I'm going to have to come home, I'm going to have to do my video, and then I'm going to have to rank up really quickly in order to be ready to go ahead and give myself some time, at least to do the hard raid on a Tuesday night, you know, because then i got to go to work the next day on Wednesday. I'm probably not going to be able to jump into the Archon's Forge, so I'm not going to be able to test it. That's why I made sure to take the time to go ahead and do Eris, to go ahead and do the Court of Orcs, because I know I'll be able to at least go in and hopefully, crossing my fingers, get two relatively easy artifacts with very minimal time investment. I mean, two reciprocal runes is going to take me two minutes. <laughs> two minutes to do solo, it's going to be very, very easy. And I know, you're probably thinking, I don't want to go back to the Court of Orcs, it's really difficult, it takes forever to grind, and it kind of does, but there are also those weekly bounties that just show up randomly whenever you're in the Court of Orcs, you get them once per week, and it's for Eris Reputation. There's basically three stages, I believe it's 250, 500, and 750 experience. That will help you level up very, very quickly. And again, it's only once per week. But there are those black and pink bounties that come in just randomly. So if you go in and you're doing the Court of Orcs, make sure you have at least one slot in your bounties able to do so that you can go ahead and pick those ones up. That will help you level up very, very quickly. And if you happen to get them this week, you should be again able to get them on Tuesday. So you could have two chances of doing it. I only ended up having to do those bounties once, and I ended up ranking up Eris pretty much one and a half times as far as faction rep goes in order to get myself to where you just saw in this video, so it was pretty easy. And the other nice thing with edging Eris is it's not like the Crucible or the Vanguard or your factions where you have to edge them and then pretty much not do anything else in the game. With Eris, it's very, very, very easy to simply avoid anything that's going to give you Eris reputation. In fact, if you want to do that, avoid anything on the moon and avoid anything on the Dreadnought and you'll be very safe. And I only say the moon because if you happen to run Crota's Raid, you will get Eris Morn reputation. So just avoid that. Not that you would just be jumping up and down to go ahead and do the Crota's Raid if you're busy edging Eris for Court of Oryx reputation. But you might do it and you just might forget. So I'm just saying avoid the Dreadnought, avoid Crota's Strike, and you'll be able to easily keep your Eris Morn reputation just exactly where it's at. Now my other really big hang up has been ghosts. Ghosts have been really difficult for me to go ahead and get. I'm lucky to have a 387 ghost from the Iron Banner. I'm hoping that Bungie's update where they're saying that they're going to let artifacts and ghosts drop more often is going to help me so I can go ahead and rank up my factions and get a ghost much more easily. But ghosts and artifacts, those are the things that have been holding people back in general whenever they're leveling up. Hopefully these tips end up helping you. Hopefully you have a little bit of time and you can go into the Court of Orcs and edge your heirs. So even if you can't do like I do and have two of them ready to go, hopefully you can at least have one ready to go and reap all the rewards. This is what I'm going to be doing. This is how I am going to be getting myself light level ready for the hard raid. And hopefully it helps you if you want to go ahead and run it on the first day. So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your errors, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Come on, artifacts. No class item.